Greetings good people, I'm Simon Stingle aka the Mad Priest of Fyrdor coming to you from Chapel of Perseverance. Today we're going to deal with a very simple subject. It's the third chapter in a book entitled Foundations of Christianity which will be online soon. It deals with fellowship with God. It's very straightforward and yet so many Christians get it wrong ramble on about some fluffy relationship it doesn't make any sense it's, God is invisible how do we define God how do we engage so I'm going to deal with four points firstly define fellowship then define our status in God entering into that fellowship and fourthly establishing the relationship, establishing fellowship with God. Four things. First thing, fellowship is defined as friendly relationship, companionship, friendship. It's very simple. It's about becoming a friend with God, a friend. Secondly, we have to define our status. Now, our status in God is clearly set out in Romans 8 verse 15 which says for you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear but you have received the spirit of adoption as sons by whom we cry Abba father and Abba is Hebrew for daddy when I heard that I understood okay this is it he's my father he's not a god that I have to say some prayer to is a God that is my Father in heaven. Thirdly, how do we enter into this fellowship? We have to engage, not necessarily with a prayer, not necessarily what Matthew 6 verse 9 to 13 talks about, which is Jesus showing people how to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy yes, etc., etc. It's a wonderful prayer. But it was a guideline. Jesus was giving us a guideline to show us how do we pray? How do we talk to God? So, and what I do is, Philippians 4, 8, I talk about entering into a mind state which says, whatsoever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, or praiseworthy, think about such things. As I disengage with the world and I enter into a state of meditating on beautiful things, I'm now able to engage. And with that moment, I start to then converse with God, not pray. It's not this. It's about conversing. It's about talking to God and saying, hey, I want to talk about this and what a great day and this and this is where the fourth section comes in which is establishing the day-by-day -day relationship relationship status with God in other words what I call the eternal now you have moments where you engage with God and you say I'm touching eternity right now in a book that I've published well sorry that I will be publishing soon entitled The Eternal Now, An Existential Journey, I describe people how to engage in that eternal moment. It's basically living in the moment, but it's more loaded than that because it shows people that if we are Christians and we are in the world but not of the world, we need to understand that we have touched eternity by accepting Christ as our Savior. Therefore, we need to engage in that moment of eternity on a moment-by-moment -moment basis. So, this eternal now that I talk about is something that I engage with on a daily basis. When I wake up, when I have breakfast, when I go to my studio, when I'm working on something, I often ask God, how am I going to build this? I have no idea. And I stop, and after a few seconds, I have an idea. And sure enough, it's perfect. It's exactly how God showed me. A number of times there's been a power outage and God has said to me, don't worry, it's only a few minutes. Sure enough, the power comes back. I hear God speak to me on a daily basis 
because I engage in that eternal now, that moment by moment basis, whereby I touch eternity continuously in a sequence of events that totals the beginning and the end of the day. That is what I define as fellowship with God. It's a moment by moment walk with the Almighty as an adopted son or an adopted daughter where you understand, hey, daddy, I've got a problem here. If, if my daughter phoned me every night and all I heard is this, oh, father, who lives in Fyrador, I love you, dad. You're such a cool dad. And she, and, she, and, she, and she put the phone down every single time. I would think there's something wrong with her. I would say, are you okay? Are you eating? And she puts the phone down. That's what people are doing with prayers. It's not to desecrate the Our Father, the Lord's Prayer, but we need to paraphrase these prayers and start to make new prayers and develop those prayers into a conversational state of being where you're engaging with God on a moment-by-moment -moment basis. That, in a nutshell, is what fellowship with God is all about. Living in a moment-by-moment -moment basis as if your Father is in heaven and calls you, you're my child, and you say, you're my daddy, you're my Father in heaven. This is what it's all about, folks. Forget about, forget about everything else. Forget about everything else. Is your Father in heaven? Is your daddy? God's sake, is your daddy? Stop reciting prayers. Engage as adopted sons and daughters.